Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a special one because I am celebrating over 1,000 subscribers on this channel. So this video is dedicated to you guys. Thank you so much for over 1,000 subscribers. So basically, I did polls on my community tabs asking you guys about what nail set you want. I asked what colors, what shape the nails should be, um, and just a whole bunch of things like that. And I am going to be doing that nail set today in this video. So let's just get started. As you can see, I am starting with nail prep, so I'm pushing back my cuticles and also buffing my nails. I was also going to apply dehydrator, but I forgot that part, but I normally like to apply dehydrator or acetone would work as well. And that helps a lot with making your Gelex nails last longer. So here you can see I asked how I should do my nail extensions and Gel X one just by a little bit. So I am going to be doing Gel X nails. Here I asked about the nail length and as you can see short and medium actually tied. So I'm just going to be doing medium and of course everyone kind of has their own opinion on what's short, what's medium, what's long. But in my opinion these nails would kind of be in the range of a medium length. I also asked about what nail shape I should do and coffin won by a pretty good amount. I am using the Beatles nail tips and I picked out which ones um, fit my nails the best but some of them are still a little too big so I am filing the sides down to make them fit my natural nail a little bit better. So I did do those steps on my other nails as well, but I just didn't film it. And I do have a question for you guys. Do you like watching nail prep or would you rather just me already have the nails prepped and my natural nails prepped and just see like the application process and um, the nail art and stuff? Or do you like a little bit of nail prep or do you like it? super in detail because I feel like I always show the nail prep in most of my videos but I just don't know if you guys like watching the nail prep or not so just let me know. I want to know what you guys think. Because the underside of the nail is not pre-etched, I am just taking my e-file and filing that area that is going to be touching my natural nail. And that seems to help a little bit with making your Gelex nails last a little bit longer. Now that all of the nail prep is done, I can now apply the full cover nail tips. So I'm just going to be using this Beetle gel nail glue and then just applying a little bit of that onto my nail tip, just however much I think I need to cover the whole nail. And then I'm just going to slowly apply the nail tip to the to my natural nail and just slowly bring it down until the glue has covered all of my nail. And then of course once I have the nail in place I'm going to flash cure it because I am going to fully cure all of my nails later once I have all of them applied. So I just need to flash cure it for like 10 to 15 seconds and of course before curing you're going to want to make sure that there's no gel on your skin and then um, whenever I accidentally don't apply enough gel glue then I usually just take it off and wipe it off completely and just try again. I'm just going to repeat those steps on the rest of my nails and of course this isn't really a Gelex nail tutorial but um, let me know if you guys do have any questions. Um, I do really like it when you guys ask questions and I really like helping you guys. I know I can't answer everything because I am still learning a lot and there's a lot to learn but I will definitely try my best to answer your questions. I do have a lot of videos on how to do Gelex nails, so definitely check out that playlist if you're interested. 
I'm going to go ahead and file them down a little bit, but not too much. I am still keeping this length. And then I am going to try something that I've never tried before, but I've been wanting to try. And it's just kind of a little hack you do to make the angelic snails look a little more natural around the cuticle area. So basically I took this little lint free micro brush and some acetone and I'm just going around the cuticle area and the acetone is kind of going to um, break down the nail a little bit and make it thinner. And this nail hack is kind of just replacing filing around the cuticle area. So instead of filing around the cuticle area to make it thinner, you're just using acetone. And I did really like this nail hack. I'll definitely use it in the future. And I did think it did make a difference. And I do really like it better than having to file. I just don't really like filing that much. So being able to do this instead of filing is really nice. I'm just showing one of my nails up close after I did that. And as you can see, it looks pretty seamless and there's not like a huge bump at the cuticle area. It looks natural. So this is my little nail art sketch. I like to kind of plan out my nail set before actually doing it. And yes, I am very bad at drawing. So I don't think you guys can even tell what any of this is. Um, but this is kind of what I'm going for. Um, I mean, not really. I hope it looks way better than my drawing. But more just for me to like plan out everything. Um, but anyways, let's get into painting the nails. I did ask you guys what the main color of the nail set should be and purple one. So I am going to be using this lavender color and it actually ends up not really being the main color, but you'll kind of see what I mean later on. The base color on my thumbnail and my ring fingernail is going to be lavender. So I am just applying a couple coats of that. For the base color on the rest of my nails, I'm going to be using this Born Pretty Nude Jelly Gel Polish. Okay, so all of the base colors are applied, so I'm going to start with the nail art on my thumbnail. So for the nail art on my thumbnail, I'm going to be doing spot chrome, which basically just means the chrome is only going to be on a certain part of the nail. So to do this, you're going to either want to buff your nail and buff the shine off of it, or apply a matte top coat. So I'm just buffing the shine off of my nail so the chrome doesn't stick on. For the nail art, you guys chose flowers and butterflies, which I was really happy about because spring is coming up and I am so excited for nicer weather and seeing flowers blooming and everything like that. Um, so for my first nail, I'm going to be creating a flower and I wanted it to kind of be textured. So I'm going to be using this cream gel polish from Model Ones. I am using white, but chrome is going to go over it. So that was my next question. I asked um, what the secondary color should be. And you guys chose silver and then I also asked um, if you guys want chrome or glitter or both and you guys chose both so that will be all implemented into the nail set. 
So I am just applying that silver chrome to the flower and then I'll just dust off the excess. For the center of the nail, I'm going to be using rhinestones, so I'm using my rhinestone glue that I love so much because it works really well. And then I'm just going to apply like five or six rhinestones there, and then that'll be it for the thumbnail. For the top coat, I'm going to be using this No Wipe Amelia Gel Top Coat and I'm just going over that with my thumbnail now, trying to avoid the rhinestones because I feel like the rhinestones just look a little bit better when you don't apply a top coat to them, so I tried to go around them the best I could. I have this sparkly silver gel polish that's really good for doing ombre. So on my next nail, I am going to do a glitter ombre. I'm also going to add two flowers to the nail with the lavender gel polish, just using a dotting tool. And then in the middle of those flowers, I'm going to add a rhinestone. This time it was a little hard to go around the rhinestones with the top coat so I'm just applying the top coat normally and I'm going to move on to my middle fingernail now. So for this nail I am taking my Lavender Beetles Gel Liner. I thought it was close enough to the other lavender gel polish that I could just use this gel liner because gel liners are easier to work with when doing nail art. Um, so I'm using that and just doing a French tip. I have these butterfly stickers I'm going to use, so I picked out two butterfly stickers from these sheets. And um, I was kind of looking for ones that had purple, so I'm just applying those to my nails with the French tip. My next nail is going to be very similar to the other glitter ombre nail, except instead of flowers, I'm just going to be using some butterfly stickers. So I am starting with the glitter ombre, just like I did on my other nail. I'm going to be doing some spot chrome again on my pinky nail, so I'm just buffing that nail so the chrome doesn't stick to it. And then I'm just going to be taking my gel liner and kind of just doing like a wavy line across the nail. 
And then I'm going to cure that and apply the silver chrome powder. So I am applying a top coat just because I am doing more nail art on this nail and just in case I need to wipe it off, I don't want to have to wipe off the chrome powder so that's why I'm applying a top coat and then I'm going to cure that and then I'm just creating two flowers kind of lining up with the swirly line. And then um, in the middle of the flowers, I am going to apply a rhinestone. Thank you to everyone that did participate in the questions. If you didn't get a chance, I definitely do want to do another video like this in the future so stay tuned i really really love how this nail set turned out and i hope you guys like it as well um thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye